Hi everyone, I'm Dhruv Aroda. Today we are going to talk about LiPo batteries. On popular demand from so many of my students and friends and subscribers, I've finally decided to make this video for you guys. First of all, let me tell you what's a LiPo battery. It stands for Lithium Polymer Battery. Uh, basically, a true LiPo battery would never have a liquid electrolyte. It will always have a dry electrolyte. So that is why you can always have a lipo battery in different shapes and sizes but the only drawback of a lipo battery as i see is that it needs special care and there has to be a proper way of charging discharging and storing the, these batteries so there are going to be few things i'm going to explain now first of all let me just come on to what exactly are the numbers that are written what do they mean exactly so for example this one this one is a 4s battery which means it has four cells this one is a 3S battery, this means it has 3 cells. This is a 2S battery, which means it has 2 cells. So this is how the cells look from inside. Now this one has about 5 cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have another one. This one has 3 cells. 1, 2, 3. So on an average, what we how we calculate the voltage of these LiPo batteries is, we take it as 3.7 volts per cell. So for example, if this is a 4 cell battery, this will have about 14.8 volts. If you go for a 3S battery, this would have 11.1 volts. So normally, this is what is always mentioned on all the batteries. For example, it's written 4S. Now let's come to the other numbers which are there. Like on this one, it is written as 5200 mAh. MH stands for milliamp hours. This shows how much drain can be put on a battery to discharge it in one hour. On this one, it is 2200 mAh. So 1000 mAh is equal to one amp, which means 5200 mAh in this case would mean 5.2 amperes. This determines how long you can run the battery before you have to recharge. Higher the number, longer the running time. A lot of people make a mistake you know uh, that you know the flight endurance would double up if they double up the battery but they forget that it is also going to add weight to the total AUW so you have to be careful when you are going to increase these MAH and the, you know trying to in increase your flight times and endurance so just be careful about the whole thing so let's come to a very uh, important aspect of a battery and that is the C rating so a lot of people get very confused with the C ratings and all. So let me just explain what's a C rating. C rating basically stands for capacity. To break it down into simplest terms, the C rating is the maximum safe continuous discharge rate of a pack. If you see on this battery, it is 10C. It means that it can be discharged at 10 times that of the pack's capacity. So basically the capacity refers to the milliamp per hour rating of the battery which is always in any case listed like in this case it is 5200 mAh as I told you before. So let me give you an easy way to find out your uh, battery's discharge rate. For that all you have to do is just multiply the number of, with the C that is 10 over here with your mAh that is 5200. So when you say 5200 mAh it means 5200 milliamps which is equal to 5.2 amperes. You multiply 5.2 by 10 C and you get total of 52 amperes of continuous discharge. This means that you can safely draw up to 52 amps continuously from that 14.8 uh, volt battery without doing any damage to your battery. Now let me come to a very important aspect and that is balance charging and storage of these batteries. So for doing this, you need special chargers and these are called balance chargers. Uh, you can get it at any good RC hobby shop or you can get it easily online. I would recommend that you purchase a good quality balance charger. Let me tell you what is balance charging first. Basically, it is a term that we use to describe the act of equalizing the voltage of each cell in a battery pack. We balance the LiPo batteries to ensure that each cell discharges the same amount which helps in the performance of the battery. So for doing this, you have a balance connector or uh, JST XH uh, connector in each and every battery. And you have to connect this to the balance charger every time you charge. Normally, I would always recommend that you charge 
at a, at a rate of 1C which means like for example if this is a 5.2 ampere battery this one so you charge at 5.2 amperes and not more a lot of people like to do it to 2c or 5c or whatever i i do not recommend that i would not say it's a very safe battery practice another thing is that in case you want to store a lipo battery or you want to courier or send it you know through to somebody uh, i would recommend that you st uh, use a balanced charger in storage mode to charge these batteries and the storage mode the each and every cell would be at 3.8 volts any good balanced charger has a good storage mode